The global gaming market is huge. It's measured in billions of dollars. In fact, it's estimated to be $184 billion. Now, according to Newzu, the largest segment inside of the global gaming market is not consoles. Maybe that's what you thought it would. Consoles only have 28% of the market. It's not PC gaming. That's only 21% of the market. The biggest segment by far is mobile gaming with over 50%. Now, mobile gaming is characterized by several different things. For example, the operating system like Android on smartphones, uh, the platform that you use to develop those mobile games, uh, Unity, for example, and uh, the CPUs and GPUs designed by ARM. Now, in this video, I want to look at why it's important to target mobile as a primary platform when you're developing games, particularly when you're developing games using Unity. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. I'd like to thank ARM for sponsoring this video. Now, Unity is one of the easiest and the most popular tools for writing games. 70% of the top 1,000 mobile games are written using Unity. And when it comes to CPUs, 99% of all smartphones use ARM-based CPUs, and many of them also use ARM-based GPUs. So this combination of using Unity to target mobile platforms and optimizing for ARM CPUs and GPUs is a powerful combination when it comes to developing mobile games. Now, Unity itself is free to download and uh, develop mobile games with. There are some restrictions, but up until you earn your first $100,000, you don't need to worry about it. Until then, download it and start developing. It's available for Windows and Mac OS and for Linux and the installer is an absolute breeze to use. It will download, for example, if you're developing for Android, it will also download the Android SDKs and any other stuff that you might need to get yourself going. So it's very really easy to get started using Unity. Now Unity can be used to create both 2D and 3D games and there is a huge Unity community out there and there's also lots and lots of tutorials. If you go over to learn.unity.com you'll find a doorway there, a portal there to all kinds of tutorials and getting your first 2D or 3D game up and running is not as hard as you might think. Now a few things to consider, it uses C Sharp so if you're familiar with any of the modern programming languages, of course including C Sharp, C, C++, you'll find it really quite easy to get going inside of Unity and as I said all the tools that you need are downloaded when you uh, download the installer. Now if you're an artist, if you're a designer who designs the sprites, the tiles, the 3D models, the textures that get used inside of mobile games, then you'll also find that Unity is the tool for you. In particular, there are resources to show you how to optimize your graphics, your textures, your models for the ARM platform so that you get the best frame rate available out of the games. And I'll leave a link in the description below to a place where you can learn more about optimizing textures and shaders and lighting and so on for mobile gaming. Now, embracing mobile as a primary platform means you also need to be considerate of the constraints of mobile. It's called mobile because the devices are mobile, handheld. They run from a battery. And that's very different to a console or a PC, which are plugged into the mains. The heat, the thermal envelopes are different. So you have to think about how you're going to treat mobile in your game to get that best performance. And that includes uh, thermal throttling, that includes frame rate, that includes lag-free play. Now, once you adopt this attitude of targeting mobile as a primary platform, then that will open up a whole different vista into the way that you develop your games on Unity. It's also worth noting that the mobile first approach includes looking at the user interface and the user experience. In this particular instance, we're talking about touchscreen user interface. And of course, Unity has all the tools you need to build fast, responsive touchscreen mobile first UIs. Now, the benefits and the value of taking mobile as a primary development platform, optimizing for ARM on Unity, is that huge mobile gaming segment. So if you put in the time and the effort to change your philosophy now to target mobile from the beginning, then you open up a huge potential market for your development. In one sense, you could say this is not only just a strategic decision, it's an essential decision to survive 
survive in the gaming market considering you're opening the door to that large potential market. Performance and responsiveness are key factors that influence the playability of a mobile game. ARM processors, while powerful, have different performance characteristics compared to their PC and console counterparts. Unity developers need to optimize game performance by considering processor workload, memory usage and power consumption, which are critical factors in the mobile gaming experience. The results of these performance optimizations are games that stand out, have higher frame rates and stutter-free rendering. ARM has a useful guide for optimizing Unity for mobile. I'll leave a link in the description below. The Unity Profiler and Frame Debugger are invaluable tools for gaining insights to how different elements of your game consume resources. Tools like the ARM Performance Studio, which include Unity integrations, are also essential for capturing performance counter activity data directly from the device. This allows you to get a clear picture of how your game utilizes both the CPU and GPU, enabling more effective optimizations for smoother gameplay, longer play sessions, while decreasing thermal throttling. Now, if you're a game producer, a director, project manager, then it's important to target mobile from the beginning so you save any expensive reworks or porting that you would need to do if you came to the mobile platform later. Starting with mobile as a primary platform saves you time, money, and gets you to market quicker. For more information, you should check out ARM's Unity-specific developer resources. You'll find the link in the description below. Now, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below about your experience of developing for mobile using Unity. I have a follow-up video planned where I'm going to talk about some of the specific technical steps that you can do to uh, optimize your game for mobile and for ARM processors. Until then, my name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.